All right, guys, been getting a lot of requests lately for showing my active imaging settings for side scan. It's very basic, very simple. There aren't a lot of settings to get into, really. My contrast, I leave on auto. I might bump it up plus one or plus two if it's direct sunlight. Frequency, I like it in 800 with active imaging. With any other side scan, I like it in 45. 800 will give you the highest resolution, and it used to cost you range, but now it doesn't with active imaging, so leave it on 800. see here I don't leave much on I don't like my range lines on you can turn them on if you'd like just has your your depth you know your uh, distance from the boat I don't really like them now my TVG if you leave it on zero you're gonna get a little bit of noise on the screen if you crank it up to three you're gonna lose a lot now what it does is TVG lets you adjust the gain close to the boat so what it does is it will reduce the gain closer to your vessel because tiny particles that are very close to your boat look huge because they're closer to the transducer. So they look a lot bigger than they are and they can really mud out your screen. So you can see on three, it, re it reduced all the gain close to the top. Now the problem is I'm losing all my bait fish that are close to the surface. So particles close to the transducer high in a water column will look huge because they're absorbing a lot of energy from your transducer. If I go to one, now it reduces a little bit of the gain close to the surface. Two, it reduces even more gain. You see this bait right here. And I go to three, it reduces a lot more, but I'm gonna start losing a lot, a lot close. So if you're getting that bait or you're looking for bait, I would leave this on zero. You'll get a little noise there, but you're gonna see all your bait. You start getting a little high into this, you start losing a lot of returns close to the surface. But if you like that clean, crisp, you know, image and you don't care about seeing bait in only one structure, go ahead and crank it up to three. Another adjustment is range. I probably play with this the most. You know, there's a lot of, you know, rules of thumb, three times, you know, your depth and all that. Well, you can go a lot further than that with active imaging. It's very, uh, the range is incredible. So you can, you know, just play around with it down here. You start to see black shadows on the side of the screen. You know, you went too far. You can see if I go too far, it'll take a minute. I'm gonna go way too far here and let that catch up. Okay, you can see in this case, I set the range way too far. I set it for 240 feet and we're only in 10 feet of water. So you can see the blackness here. This blackness, I call that fallout. That's transducer fallout. It can't see much further than that. So there's no sense in setting your range that far. Plus it slows it way down. You can see how much slower the unit is working. I'm gonna go ahead and bring it back and you'll see the speed of the unit pick right back up. So play with it a little bit, you'll see. You just don't want to have that blackness on the right and the left sides. You know, frequency 800, that's going to give you the highest resolution. If you're using any other type of side scan, 455 is usually the best, but an active imaging 800 gives you the highest resolution and you lose no range at all. So uh, I believe it in 800 all the time. And that's pretty much it. It's very basic, very simple. Again, this is what I'll adjust most of the time during the day. I'll just go ahead and change my range down here. You know, here's a boat coming up on our left. And that's it, very simple settings. Get out there and play with it. Don't go too high on your TVG and you'll be all right. Love it. Thanks for watching guys, please subscribe. Love you, mean it.